Okay, make the number 13 with the counters. Thirteen? Uh-huh. Thirteen. Good. So how we make the teen is three, one. Wait, what, what comes first? The three or the one? The one and then three. Good. The one and then three. It just doesn't stand for three. It stands for ten and three. Yes, exactly. So can you write thirteen on the paper? One. Three. Good. So with the number 13, how many groups of 10 do we have? One. One group of 10. Can you show me the group of 10 on your paper over there? So this is a 10. Yes. So there's 10 groups in half. The, no, is there 10 groups? There's no, 10 bears there's, in the group, right? Yeah. There's 10 and there's like always going to be 10 in the half. Yes, there's always going to be 10 right there, the exactly. the top one, there's going to be 10. Good. In the bottom, there will be just... Don't write on there. Don't, don't write, because that's going to change. Okay, good. So we've got the top one, always going to be 10. So 10 and... 3. Make... The T. Good. Because it does 10 and 3, so... There's 10 and 3, so you basically know that it's 13 because there's three bears. That's right. Good. So, so you just do the number that, like 13, you just put 3. Good. Good. So like 14, you put 4. Mm -hmm. Like 100, you put 1. Well, 100 is a different thing. We'll talk about 100 after, but you're right. 14, you would put 4. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. 15. So how do you make 15? 10. And then how many more? 11, 12, 13. I want you to make 15, though. Okay, so 10 and how many more makes 15? 10. Uh-huh. Oh, it's going to be 10. And then... Well, count that Five. again. Five. Great job. You wrote 17. Okay, so why do our T numbers start with a 1? Because cause there's only one group. Yes, there's one. Because they're all together. Like so, yeah, so there's seven. 10 and 7 is 17. So, if the, so we always put 1, and then how many there is on the bottom... How many of those on the bottom? Yes. You put on white hair. Yes, exactly. Very good. So there's one group of how many? Ten. Good. And so that's the first number. You're right. One group of ten. And then how many is on the bottom goes next to it. Very Seven. good. Good. Perfect. Okay, so if we want to make the number 18 now, do we need to take all the bears away or can we just do something? We can't. We don't have to take away only if it's a only if it's a smaller number. Okay, good. So how can we make eighteen now then if we have seventeen? We put one more in. Put one more in. Okay. So now there's ten. No, not on there. Right on so here. Now ten and how many more? Eighteen. Ten and how many more? How many are on the bottom there? Eight. Eight. Good. So ten and so eight. So we put a one. Uh huh. First and an eight. Good. Cause it always starts with a one, and then you put eight. And why does it start with a one? Because there's one group all together. Well, there's one group of ten. Ten, and then there's. How many? Eight groups. No, eight, eight groups or eight bears on the bottom. Very eight good. Small yes. Okay. So, what number did you just make? Nineteen. So, if there's eighteen, you put one more because that's nineteen. 
Good. So if we wanted to make if we wanted to make twenty. Uh huh. What would you put, do? We put one more mm. because there's only one space left. Okay, so let's see. And let's then see that. We would put five and five. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that would be five and five. Good. Okay, put put but put the bear here. Uh, so we have twenty. Okay. Now we have. But but wait a second. Now you have twenty. So now. What if we want to make twenty one? Well, let let's talk about twenty first. Okay. So we have twenty. How many groups of ten do we have now? Five and five. Well, we have five and ten. five. Ten. Okay, but how many groups of ten do we have? This is a group of ten. Two. Yes. Okay. So. Because it does ten and ten. Because ten. This used to be one group altogether. Yeah, it used to be one group, but, but then now since it's ten and ten, so now it's ten and ten. It's a ten group. So we have a ten and ten. So how many groups is that? Ten. What? No. How many groups is it? We have one, two. yeah, two groups. So how do you think we would write the number 20 then if we have two groups of 10? So let, let's figure this out. When we had 17 or 18, we had one group of 10, right? Yes. And so we put a one first. Yes. But now you said we have how many groups of 10 do we have now? 14. Well, no, no, no. How, no. Many, how many groups of 10 here? So how many... <coughs> Two. It is two. So if we now have two groups of 10, what number do you think we should write first when we're writing our number? 10. Well, let's think about it again. Can I use your pen? Yeah. Okay, so when we had, let's look at the number 17. When we had 17, we had one group of 10. So we had a one first. So, and but if we have, seven. but if we have two groups of 10, what number do you think we should write first? Should we still write a one? Because that stands for one group of ten. No, we should do ten. No, two. Oh, two. Two groups now. Yes. Okay, you write two. Okay, so we start with a two. We start with a two. Okay, and but then... and then are there any left over after our two groups of ten? No. So what do you think we should write next? Zero. Yeah. Okay, so what number is this? Eleven. Eleven. So we see we have ten. We have ten and, and one more. Ten and so one that's more. Eleven. Good. So we have. We have fifteen. We have fifteen because we have ten. We have fifteen and then zero more. Wait, hold on. We have ten and how many more? Ten and. Five. Ten and five make fifteen. Yes. Ten and ten and six make twenty six. Not twenty six. What number is that? Sixteen. Ten and six 15. make sixteen. Okay, so we have ten. Okay, what about this one right here? Oh, are you doing that one? So we have 10 and, and 7, so that makes 17. Good. Okay. And we have 10 and 3, so that makes 13. Good. We have 10 and 4. That makes 14. Good. We have 10 and 8, so that makes 18. Good. And what about this one right here? We, so we have 10 and 2, so that makes 32. No, 10 and 2 makes, what number is that? 22. Well, let's see, 10, Two, 11... Yeah, 12. 12. So, 
Good. Okay, so you did that page. Very good. So, so we're going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so write the numbers. Two. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. Good. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Good job. Okay, let's come up here. We're going to do a subtraction. Oh, yeah. So we have ten. Take away two. Wait, eights. where? What are you looking at? No, we have nine. Take away five. This one. Oh, ten. Take away six. So we have ten. So we have nine. Take away five is four. Good. Six, ten, take away six. Three, you can use your ten frame that fell on the floor too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we take away six. Good. Four again. Okay. Okay, now we have eight. Six, seven, eight. Take away five. Now we have three. Good. So this page. Mm -hmm. So ten. So we have ten. Take away eight. Good. Okay, next one. And now we have six. Five, six, six. Then we take away four. Seven. Now we have two. Good. And for this one, it's probably four. Well, let's check it to make sure. Three. Well, let's check it to make okay. sure. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. Take away six. All right. Three. Okay, good. And then here it says, Draw a line of symmetry for each item. Symmetry? Yeah, so do you remember symmetry? Means when you draw the line, they'll look it'll look the same, like a mirror. Uh, like this? Are we doing this? No, th this side over here. So on the butterfly, how would you make a line through the butterfly to make it look like a mirror image? Straight line? Uh-huh. Good. Okay, how would you make a line of, of symmetry in this starfish? No, I want you to divide. So you're going to divide it in half to oh. make it look the same on both sides. Straight line. Good. All right, what about the flower? Straight line. Very good. All right, nice work. High five. You finished your math lesson.